Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the radius of curvature at any point of the curve. The given curve is y is equal to c into log of secant x by c. As a first part, we are going to find its differentiation dy by dx. So this will be c we keep as it is and differentiation of log of secant x by c is 1 by secant of x by c then by chain rule differentiation of secant x is secant x tan x so this will be secant of x by c into tan of x by c and again by chain rule differentiation of x by c is x differentiation is 1 so 1 by c we keep as it is so here secant x by c we can cancel and at the same time this c and c we can cancel so finally we have dy by dx as tan of x by c. Now its differentiation for the second time will be secant square x by c by chain rule into 1 by c. Now the formula for radius of curvature rho equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole power 3 by 2 whole division d square y by dx square. So here it is 1 plus tan square x by c then whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by this is secant square x by c into 1 by c. In the numerator we have 1 plus tan square x form which is secant square x. So this becomes secant square of x by c then whole power 3 by 2 and in the denominator we have secant square x by c and this 1 by c will go to the numerator as a product so we can write c here. At the same time we can cancel this 2 and 2 in the power. So in the numerator we have secant cube. So the radius of curvature rho is c into secant cube of x by c whole divided by secant square of x by c. After cancelling this we left with only secant in the numerator. So rho is c into secant of x by c. This is the required radius of curvature.